the new screen. It looks so good. Oh, dude. Look at that. It looks so hot. Alright, new Fossil Island. Oh, no. It's taking a while to load. Alright. Who can I see to start this quest? Um, talk to this guy? Yeah, there's a quest icon, so I think it's this guy. Why did it say Junior Navigator? Oh, right. I meant to... <laughs> I thought it was untradeable. <gasps> boys! We're on our way! We're going! Oh, boys, we're on the water! I, I am reading this. You think I'm gonna read lore? What? No! What have I gotta do? We're on course. Okay, we have to do change the direction. Right, what's this? That's speed. Down to straight ahead. Alright, is there any rocks? Dude, we ha we're not gonna crash. No, 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 I'm not crashing. You need to get back on course. What are you talking about? Check your bearings. Dude, we took about it straight ahead! <laughs> Oh boys, I think, we oh we're nearly there. We're on course, you darn toot we're on course. Ah, I did it. I'm so good at the game. Here look, we're at Fossil Island. One quest point, access Fossil Island. All right, get out of my way. I'm going on Fossil Island. Where's the boat? Let me off this ship. Let me off. How do I get off this ship, bruh? Um, um, hmm, uh, hmm. I'm trapped. Do I climb down the trap door? Travel, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh boy, ancient wyverns. Oh man, there's only two spawns. Oh wait, no, no, I got it, I got it. Got it. Hiya. Um, mage seems, uh, mage seems okay. Are oh, you pray range? So t will be awful against them. Oh, I'm not even range potted. That's probably why. First drop. Uh, oh, number lights. I think you need them to for stuff. And wyvern burns, of course. Banshees is really good for Wyvern has Wolf said that she's the best for assigning the fossil ones. Yes! 67 fossil land wyverns! Yee, let's go to the thing and go kill wyverns because we've got the task and there is a, a, a task only cave along with a non-task cave, so now we have access to the task cave. Yee! Wait, what's this? A hoop snake? <laughs> what? Right, I killed it. Does it drop anything? Doesn't drop anything. Hoop snakes. Ancient fungi. Hold on, I want to pick this. Oh, that just spawns zygomites. Never mind. Hello, sir. I'm here to kill you. All right, range on task seems disgustingly good. Two hits so far. Never mind. And there's the first. I got nothing. Prayer potion. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude, normal skeletal wyverns drop two prayer potions. These ones only drop one. <laughs> Balancing. Oh, dude, oh, it made me panic, man. I thought I got the visage, but it's a soul fossil. <laughs> it's just a soul fossil. Okay, so... This ancient wyvern, which is more powerful than a skeletal wyvern, dropped me ten battle staff, uh, five battle staff, sorry. Skeletal wyverns, which are easier to kill and have a slow, low, lower requirement, drop ten battle staffs. Sense? Hmm... I mean, I'm just roasting the drop table at this point, but one grimy taramin. It's not the taramin that makes me mad, bruh. Skeletal wyverns, they drop taramins as well. But they would drop me three of them, not one of them, bruh. Oh boy, inspect the mushroom. Oh, is this for tracking? <gasps> Boys, we're gonna go tracking. Tracking, 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 tracking. Oh, the, the tracks go this way. Tracking, tracking. Mushroom? Something has passed this way. Oh, I found, oh, okay, I found stuff. I, I thought that was the end. Hold on, we're gonna we're tracking this dude. We're gonna get the pet first time. All right, we're gonna attack this tunnel. <gasps> Quick, kill it. Give me the pet. Okay, so 2.4k hunter XP in like what a minute? So that's like what? Okay, yeah, it's pretty awful. Wait, no, it's like 120k an hour. And what did I get? Evanto and Quam. It depends on your herb level. So that's like a decent way. And there's also a pet with it. Interesting. Oh, I forgot my secutors. That's what I could have got it. So if you use magic secutors, you get a guaranteed plus one extra herb, or else uh, you have a chance to get one between one and three, I think. Ooh, use the magic mushroom. Ah, I, I will indeed. Let me see. Not yet found. You talk about homie. Oh, he's good. Agent my vents. Look at this snake. Kill this snake. So I'm gonna buy a brain saber to kill this underwater scorpions, and we'll try the uh, the, the the agility thieving thing at the same time when he digs up and what I do with fossils uh, you put them in cases all right let me see here we got the wheat see uh, the wheat seaweed farming which is pretty garbage to do unless you're on Iron Man but even then I think it's better to a uh, better way to get them would be buy them from a charter ship so that's pretty dead and now here we have drift net fishing so if you see those red lines on the map right there this is drift net fishing where you can put uh, you need 10 jute fibers to make a net and then you set the net up by putting it on there 
And then you can passively catch fish just leaving them, just like like leave the sea and you can just passively catch fish up to a maximum of 10 fish. Or you can use a trident, but I don't think you can use this trident, you have to buy a trident from the mermaids which are like somewhere. And you poke the fish into the nets and you get hunter and fishing XP which is like decent, but juke fibers are like 5k each, so 50k per net. And each time you take the nets down, uh, it's the, you, they get destroyed so you have to make a new one every time. So 50, 50k for like subpar XP, probably not worth it. Oh sorry, this is the uh, this is the mermaid that sells the trident, but it costs 1,000 mermaid tears. I don't know how to get these, but let's go through here. And so I can swim fast because I have flippers on. If you don't have flippers on, you can't run. Wait, what's this? Search chest. What are we getting from this? Spam click. I was killing wyverns, but wyverns are garbage. Their drop table sucks. Need a thousand, and you can you can suck on these puffer fish. Hold on, I can't get through. Navigate the obstacle. So see my oxygen level. If I suck on this puff fish, it goes up by... Wait, where'd it go? Wait, I want to suck on the puff fish. Where'd it go, man? Swim, swim, swim. Where's my diving apparatus? Look, it disappears on your back. Wait, does it? Or is it just goes flat? I don't know. Inventory? Oh, here we go. Puff fish. Puff the puff fish. Oh, dude, it gives you loads of oxygen. Dude, puff fish are OP. So what? You have a 100% chance on the first one, but after that, it's just garbage chance. I've just got a second one. Oh, and again. Was that a fossil? Oh, I'm pretty sure... I think thieving is the best way to get fossils then. Oh, dude, look at all this stuff I'm getting. I'm getting so much stuff. This is some disgusting XP. And I've got to go into the bubble once I um, get low on oxygen. So I go into the bubble to regen oxygen, then go to the next arrow. Age of Wyverns are massive. Yeah, know, they look pretty cool. Shame their drop table sucks. It's it, like it has to get buffed. Everything on the island's going to get buffed. Except like the thieving's probably okay. Oh, cool. This, this ladder looks pretty cool. Oh boy, this house, man, this looks creepy. Is, is this where you land for your teleport? I don't know. Climb the stairs. These are some cool looking stairs. Anyone here? Search stone chest. You want, mate? Gimme, give gimme. Give exactly the size of a Numelite. Yes, insert a Numelite. Back to number 100 near the hole. Perhaps you should feed in more Numelites. Wait, what is this? Insert 100 Numelites into the hole. Didn't seem to rattle out and the spike shoots out of the hole stabbing you. Oh. Oh, is that like a gamble chest where you put the number lights? Okay, interesting. Strange machine. Investigate strange machine. It looks dormant. Hmm. You can use your room necklace on the book from that house on the hill of Fossil Island Telly. A book. Where do I get this book? Trapdoor. Oh, here we go. Ancient books. Right, so this must be the teleport. Uh, oh. Wait, mushroom tree? This is how I get to the top floor? No, that's not it. South side of the room. Pilot vision books. <clears throat> I already have that. I took the book. Do you need flippers? You only need flippers to run underwater, else you're stuck walking. Use the necklace on the big book. Oh, this book. It seems to provide magic to this place. So if you use the dig site pendant on this this book right here from in this house, you can, it, I guess, right, it's called a dig site pendant still. Ah, so now this one can tell to Fossil Island. Where does it take me to? Takes me to- oh, it takes you to the house, okay. It would be a lot nicer if it took you to, like, not the house. Oh, wait, actually, never mind. Because you can land at this house, then you can use the magic mushroom tree to, like, go somewhere else, like... Uh... Well, I don't know where this one is, but, like, these are pretty... Not anywhere useful. <laughs> actually, no, yeah, it is. This, that's a good teleport. Alright, never mind. That's good. So, it takes me, like... Not very close to the bank, but it's okay. So there's wait first. That first of all, there's mushroom meadow. Let's go to that one real quick. Mushroom meadow is probably the first mushroom you'll find, which is so you land on the boat there and you just go northwest and it's right there. Then from mushroom meadow, let's go to the sticky swamp. So you can't teleport first. You have to find the mushroom first before you can teleport it. And the sticky swamp, you'll need a rake and a um, axe to get to this one. And you literally just go into the swamp, which is south of this mushroom. And you have to chop through vines and rake through vines to get to this tree. And, and then and then you got this tree. Then we've got Verdant Valley. Let's go to this one. This one, you could also unlock this one first. This is the one which is the entrance to the mine. See, so the mine is just up here. So you just go northeast through there. And it's just south of the bank. You just have to go south and around. And then you go into there. Then other than that, the last one is the house on the hill where you unlock the teleport with your dig site pendant. And it teleports you to this mushroom. If you use your dig site... Your, 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 what, your what site, mate? Your dig site pendant on this. Uh, you can then have a teleport option right there to Fossil Island, which teleports you right here. So this is the mine, but I haven't got enough kudos to go in here. Can I go inside? He'll say no. I don't think you're capable. It is 50 mine and 180 kudos to enter the volcanic mine. Smack, smack, well done. Built the loom. This is where you build your drift nets, if you didn't know. Drift net. You require 10 jute fibers. 
a small fossilized skull. Hmm, interesting. Oh, boys, you're building a skeleton. I like how you don't have to wait. I like that. Fossilized ribs, a spine, some limbs, a pelvis. Mmm, pelvis. Help, sorry, what? Squid food. Bad end. Oh, oh, no, what do you need help with? Wait, isn't there like a basement? Oh, here we go. So these, this is new, these stairs right here. Now, this is the fossil island basement. So down here, this is um, this hasn't been released yet. This is for expansion. I don't know what you're going to make down there, but yeah. And as you can see, the kudos has been changed to 225. So uh, add to, is this medium display? Oh, these are small. Okay, so I have to go to the small displays. Can I make anything from this? Uh, am I making anything? Oh wait, what? A pe pe peculiar footprint. How do? What? How? I just put in like a spine, two arms, and some ribs, and it made a footprint. Hmm. All right, whatever. Put this in here. Is that made anything? Nope. All right, I need more stuff. All right, let's see how much XP this antique lamp gives. Let's put it on fletching as always. Oh, 2k XP is like okay, I guess. So putting a small, uh, small fossil display complete. Oh, a seaweed spore. I've not had that. So you click on something. Dude, he just died. <laughs> he got the guy killed, dude. Rip. You get fossils from doing everything, I think. Why are these ammonite crabs teleporting? I killed him and he teleported over there. <laughs> Hold on, kids. It's a glitch. As you can see, if you right click rub in the inventory, it gives you the fossil land option. In here, it doesn't give you an option and teleports you to the barge. Just saying. Oh man, look at this guy. Look at this dude. Like he's a real, he's a proper noob. Like he's an actual player and he's being disappointed by Fossil Island. I'll ask him. How do you, f do you feel about Fossil Island? This is a real player. This is like a real casual player. How do you feel about Fossil Island? I want to see his opinion. He's going to be like, oh, it looks cool. And it's fine because he's enjoying himself. He's typing. He's typing. Ah, oh, oh, he likes it. He likes it. Dude, don't laugh at him. He likes it. He likes Fossil Island. Um, uh, yeah, I, he's probably not tested anything. Have fun, bro. Smiley face. We. See, he's having fun. He's having fun, so it's fine long as he's having fun there's some good and some bad hey look he got the pet boys look he got the pet there it is oh dude that looks sick he actually looks pretty cool look at that that's a sick hurt that's the herbie ball pet looks pretty cool let me go in, go into resizable so you can see it there that's pretty cool nice actually looks pretty good <laughs> a medium fossil that's my first medium fossil shame you need like five to make a full thing I just got a large fossil from a clam oh what nice <gasps> so did I <laughs> nice <laughs> hmm just give them magic seeds like a two oh mahogany seed oh mate how much is this selling for 88k mate I ain't selling this so I'm planting it gimme gimme okay so I've had one whole task of these wyverns and I've experienced everything on the island other than, uh, let me just show you real quick, show you real quick. I haven't experienced the island yet. I mean, not the island. I haven't experienced this mine yet because it takes like approximately 10 hours of grinding to get enough fossils to get enough kudos to access this mine because the mine requires 180 kudos. Um, but my final opinions, bear in mind that they're gonna probably change a bunch of stuff, including like buffing these wyverns and buffing XP rates, etc. Um, and right, let's start with the volcanic mine. So, it looks decent, but no one's tried it yet, so I can't really say. The Underwater Adventures. So in the Underwater Adventures, you've got the Thieving Agility, which is like 100k Thieving XP and like, what, 25 to 30k uh, Agility XP, so it's pretty bad. Um, not worth doing. You may as well do like Pyramid Plunder and Agility separately. Um, and then you've got the Drift Net Fishing, which is just way too expensive to do, because you require 10 Jute Swap Fibers per net. And every time you use a net, which is every 10 fish, so every 10 fish you need a new net, and one net currently costs 50k. So, because you need 10 jute fibers, and jute fibers are 5k each, so it's 50k for one net. Um, and that, that includes, like, you could passive fish with them, or you could, um, like, poke fish into the nets, but either way it's not really worth it. Then, of course, we've got the wyverns, which is, that yeah, they have a garbage drop table, that's really about it. 
they're harder to kill than skeletal wyverns, and their drop table is like half, like half as good, and then it's like a little bit worse more on top of that. So yeah, that's the wyverns. So at the moment, there's talk of them um, buffing these wyverns, which I hope they do, but I don't know if it will be enough. I hope it is. But at the moment, this island, the only good thing, the only thing worth doing right now, is the herbivore, or the, what's it called, the her herbivore, or something like that. Uh, hey, look, a fossil. Um, it's that, because it's 140k-ish Hunter XP now, which is really decent, um, especially for mid-levels. And, of course, you get herbs, so it's, like, decent money, like 400k an hour. And if you're an Iron Man, then it's herbs for Nightline Herb Lore. And then there's the, uh, there's the crazed archaeologist, which is in the southern part of the swamp, which is down here. He's right down here, including three mushroom trees, which every time you cut them down, only one spawn at a time. And every time you chop one down, another one will spawn somewhere else. Um, but they're garbage XP an hour. Also, like, they're garbage XP. And um, when you're traversing around the swamp, as you saw, there's, like, tar monsters that can spawn, which hit for loads of damage and you can't pray against them. So it's not really worth, like, the time or effort to chop those trees. So, yep, there's, that's the uh, mushroom trees. And so the birdhouses, they were, like, advertised as, like, not AFK XP, but, like, um, passive XP. So you set them up. And it would passively catch birds over time, right? Um, and then you would go in, pick it up for like 2k XP. I think the best one gave 2.4k XP or something, which just isn't very good. Like, you're better off, rather than going out of your way to set up that birdhouse and putting it in the place and then going back to um, to loot it, you're better off going to Chinchombers and just catching Chinchombers. It's just better, <laughs> like, in every way, like money and XP. There's still, like, the underwater agility thieving thing is bugged. The arrow is bugged. Sometimes the arrow doesn't appear on your mini map and you don't know where what chest to loot. Uh, sometimes it will like tell you to go northwest and then it will change and go to southwest and like say you finish looting a chest in the southeast it would then point northeast and then after like five seconds it will point southwest like it just changed its mind it's like buggy so to finalize the, the things worth doing right now is the herbivore and the mine but that's speculation because that's what the jmod said that they buffed the xp rate so if the uh, xp rate has been buffed to the point that i think it has then it will be worth doing and that is my wyvern task done. That wyvern task, I had, I got assigned like 72 or 68 or something. So if we go into the wyvern, I have been killing normal wyverns, skeletal wyverns. So if we go here, I, I can't imagine that the loot tab is like, probably didn't get like, a, probably got like 20 battle stabs, maybe like 30. Like, yeah, you didn't really, I can't really imagine I made a lot from this task. I probably made like a mil on this task. Probably not even that, nah, it's not even a mil. It would have been like 800k or 700k probably, and it took me like, well, it's like six kills per trip, and a trip takes like 10 minutes or so. Um, I'll keep you updated when uh, if Fossil Island gets buffed, which it will, if it gets changed in any way. <laughs> Don't forget the Addy items. Oh yeah, there's Addy up. So I got, oh yeah, Adamant Pickaxe, Adamant Full Helm. So these are the sort of things that they drop. It's just not very good. But yeah, uh, I will keep you updated on the uh, Fossil Island, and um, yeah, inevitably it will be buffed and changed in many ways, and I'll keep you updated. At the moment, herbivore is the only good thing worth doing, really. Um, other than that, stay away from Fossil Island, kids. It's got the rabies. Just kidding, it doesn't have rabies. But yeah, it's not really worth doing the quest yet. I mean, you can do the quest, well, I'm not going to put this in the video. <laughs> uh, so all of that was recorded earlier in the day, and now it is, uh, what time is it? It's half past nine, so it's coming towards the end of the day. No one has access to the volcanic mine yet, so I can't test that. I hope to have access to that tomorrow, so hopefully tomorrow evening there will be a volcanic video um, from me um, testing it. And um, other than that, I think what I might do is because when I was streaming I got a bunch of frequently asked questions such as like, how do I get to Wyverns, how do I get to this place, blah blah blah, like this. So I'm thinking of making an entire Fossil Island guide video, as in I talk about everything on Fossil Island. So we go to Fossil Island, I tell you where the Wyverns are, how to make all the banks, what to do with fossils and all this. So if you want that, let me know, tell me in the comments. Other than that, I'm literally gonna, when they, um, the mine, like I said, I'll test that extensively. The other things I'm not going to test until they buff them or like nerf them or change them in some way because um, this might not happen for a while because on Twitter Mod Wolf said it could take a few weeks because they want to get some concrete numbers before they make any changes so in a few weeks there will be some nerfs or buffs or changes and then I will um, more extensively test um, all the other activities and so my final verdict for you would be don't go to Fossil Island yet 
unless you want to. If you want to, then go for it, of course. But if you want to get fossils to get max kudos, I would wait. Because on Twitter, some of the JMods are saying that they're looking at buffing the um the drop rate or the rate at which you collect fossils because at the moment it's really slow. So so you may as well save yourself some time by just waiting a week or two. Um, so if they speed up the um, gathering process of fossils, then there you go, save yourself some time. But yes, I've rambled on for too long, so uh, uh, look forward to more Fossil videos, and I'll see you later. Hey boy, that I've, got, I've got a joke, you, you, you ready? Fossil Island shouldn't have been released, it should have been fossilized. <laughs> I'm so funny. Hey, do you, hey you, you want to know that's funny? You, you know how Fossil Island was tested by QAers, do you want to know what QA stands for? Quality Assurance. <laughs>